Why were there so many cats in this family's yard? Why did those cats jump around in the yard? Were they stray cats or were they raised by the family themselves? Six months ago, Lucy's friend Daisy gave Lucy two stray cats, one orange and the other gray. The two cats were about the same size, and they were both abandoned shortly after birth. Lucy loved animals and wanted cats at the time, so she happily accepted a gift from her friend. Lucy named both cats Fauna in orange and Kandra in gray. Lucy had never had a cat before and didn't know the precautions. She checked the precautions after consulting with Daisy. In order to welcome the two lovely cats, Lucy went to the mall to buy them two sets of tableware, cat food and various toys, and bought them separate nests. Lucy wanted Fauna and Kandra to live comfortably, so she thought about everything. At that time, Lucy would put Fauna and Kandra's food in their respective dishes every day, but Kandra had a bigger appetite than Fauna. So Kandra often ate before Fauna and then went to grab Fauna's. Every time Fauna saw Kandra come to grab her food, it would let it eat. Lucy made time every day to play with them for a few hours. Fauna and Kandra clearly enjoyed playing with Lucy and would stay by her side whenever they saw Lucy. After spending a few days with the cats, Lucy found that Kandra was noticeably more playful and more energetic than Fauna. Lucy took Fauna and Kandra out for a walk every evening. At first Lucy would put a leash on them to keep them from getting separated. When Lucy took them for a walk a few days later, they took the leash off because they were so nice and didn't attack people. After these days of training, they already knew the way home, and Lucy wasn't afraid to get separated from them. Over time, Lucy raised Fauna and Kandra well and they grew up a lot. Lucy found that Fauna and Kandra were somewhat different in appearance. Fauna looked no different from the cats we saw every day, but Kandra's appearance was different from ordinary cats. Lucy noticed that Kandra had two tufts of black hair on the tips of both ears and a lot of spots on its body. Kandra looked much bigger than Fauna. Kandra was a bit fierce and not as cute as Fauna. Lucy checked the internet and found that Kandra was probably not a cat but a lynx. So Lucy told her good friend Daisy what she found. Daisy also thought Kandra was a lynx. Daisy suggested Lucy ask an expert to find out if Kandra was a lynx. After Lucy found an expert, the expert told Lucy that Kandra was a lynx and suggested that Lucy wait until Kandra grows up and let it go back to nature. Knowing that Kandra was a lynx, Lucy wasn't scared because she believed Kandra wouldn't hurt her. Lucy was still with Kandra as before. With the passage of time, Kandra had grown in size and Fauna was no longer a match. At that time, Kandra often surrounded Fauna and kept licking Fauna, Fauna couldn't resist. Kandra often lay on Lucy's brother's back and licked his neck while he was playing games. After Lucy had Kandra for two years, Kandra had grown up and got a big size, so Lucy felt it was time to let Kandra go back to nature. Kandra seemed to know it was leaving that day. So it stayed with Lucy the whole time. Lucy and Daisy took Kandra into the forest five kilometers from their home. Lucy put Kandra out of the car and patted Kandra and pointed her hand deep into the forest. Then Kandra walked slowly into the deep forest. Kandra glanced back at Lucy as it was about to disappear from Lucy's sight, as if to say goodbye and miss Lucy. Lucy was also very reluctant to Kandra and wanted to keep Kandra by her side selfishly, but she knew that this was not the best outcome, Kandra should live in nature. Lucy felt that animals were not as complicated as people, that their minds were simple and they knew who was kind to them. Getting along with animals was easier than getting along with people. One day Lucy was cooking in the kitchen and suddenly heard a loud noise coming from the yard, so she went out. She saw that there were five lynxes in the yard, and a large lynx stared into the yard outside the house. Seeing the lynx outside the yard, Lucy was moved and couldn't hold back her tears. She knew that the big lynx was Kandra. She didn't think Kandra remembered her. Kandra walked away after seeing Lucy. After walking a few steps, it looked back for a while and seemed to think that leaving the little lynx at Lucy's house was the best option. Lucy thought that the five little lynx might be Kandra's children, because they couldn't get enough to eat outside, so Kandra gave them to her. 
Although Lucy liked the five little lynxes, she didn't have the energy to take care of them, so she gave Daisy two of them to keep. Lucy handed over a relatively thin lynx to a special person. With the experience of taking care of Kandra, Lucy was very experienced in taking care of the two little lynxes. Lucy would play with them in Fauna every day and take them for walks. One day, when Lucy took Fauna and two little lynx for a walk on the road, Lucy noticed that Fauna was not following and looked back. Lucy was surprised to see Kandra standing not far away. After seeing Lucy turn her head, Kandra darted into the forest. After that Lucy would see Kandra a lot while walking. Time had flown by and Lucy had been raising the two little lynx for a year. One night, a little lynx was playing naughty in the grass outside the yard. And suddenly a wolf walked into the grass and was slowly approaching the little lynx. The little lynx saw the approaching wolf, so it lay down on the grass and tried to hide. Lucy, who was standing in the living room, just saw the scene and was about to call her brother to rescue the little lynx, but the situation suddenly reversed. When the wolf was still a few steps away from the little lynx, the little lynx quickly threw the wolf down, and finally the wolf escaped. Lucy was relieved to see that the little lynx had the ability to protect itself. She wanted to wait until they were a little older so they could live on their own. In winter, Lucy and the two little lynxes had a great time playing in the snow. It was the day Lucy let them go back to nature and Kandra came. It came to pick up its children. Lucy watched them go away with joy and dismay. She was happy that they could be independent, but after so many days, Lucy had deep feelings for them. Even if they were reluctant, they could only let them go, because they belonged to nature. When Kandra and the others left, they looked back at Lucy every few steps, reluctantly. Animals have emotions, and if you nurture them, they will become attached to you, trust you, and appreciate you. 